Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy-ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, well, uh, our first sponsor of the night, uh, in case you can't tell, is a collaboration between Critical Role and Among Us. Uh, Sam, why don't you tell us about it? Sure, sure, Matt. Uh, uh, that's right, we've teamed up with Inner Sloth to design a CR-themed cosmetic pack AKA a Cosmic Cube for the game called Gilmore's Curious Cube. Now you can play Among Us alongside Vax, Not, Chetney, Molly Mock, Laudna, Fern, Jester, and Artagon in the iconic game of teamwork and betrayal. The Cosmic Cube also includes Mr. and Pate as pets plus unique hats featuring Sprinkle, FCG, Orthax, and more. And imposters who in uh, equipment with Chetney's cosmetics will unlock a unique werewolf kill animation, the first time Inner Sloth has created a bespoke kill animation for any collab. That's amazing. And uh, I can see that you uh, convinced the cast to dress up for the occasion. Most of the cast, Matt. Someone seated before you is not a cast member of Critical Role. They are, in fact, an imposter. I, I got you. Now, Matt, can you figure out who it is? Mm <laughs> yeah, move around, yeah, everybody. Yeah, please, there you, there you go. <laughs> Make it nice and helpful. All right, uh, quick, everyone roll your dice. Oh. You all have very distinct rolling styles. There they go, there they go, okay. Okay. Ah! It's Travis! Yep. He didn't do his little like backflip thing, right? Uh -huh. Okay, let's see it. Would the real imposter please oh. reveal themselves? Oh. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. There's, there's one more. There's, there's one more. I think that's not the only imposter. Let's reveal them all. What is happening? <laughs> oh, oh! More imposters. Imposters abound. More imposters still. Oh God! <laughs> imposters birthing. Some imposters are stuck. Help those imposters. <laughs> those imposters. <laughs> oh. Wait, there's still one more imposter. <laughs> okay, Liam, we got you. We got you. Liam? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay. What the hell? Why am I the only one in this bloody costume? Oh, well, this is awful. I'm sorry, Talison, but Ray, pay up, please. Yeah, I can't believe you fell for that. Sorry, yeah, Talison. we got gotcha. you. Sorry, Talison. Thanks, Marisha. Thanks, Talison. And thank you to Inner Sloth. The Critical Role and Among Us collaboration is now live for a limited time until November 12th. Find Gilmore's Curious Cube in the Among Us store and check it out at bit.ly slash A-U-X-C-R for more info. Now I'm done venting. Back to you, Matt. Thank you so much, Sam. Uh... <laughs> oh, and thanks to the amazing crew Indeed. for being our imposters. Thank you all so much. Sorry, Thomason. Marisha, you're up next. Another figure steps forward. <clears throat> Emissary Lord Geren Graf, uh, what happens if we fail to quell the worries of divinity? If the gods destroy the divine gate and start another calamity? Leveling Exandria once more to using stone and bronze? What assurances do we have that the gods will allow us the chance to sort these issues before resorting to Armageddon? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, Ludinus told us what he plans on doing next, and you kind of hit the nail on the head. Everyone kind of looks at you a complete lack of recognition or, or interest, and people kind of have that immediate glance of who the hell let this riffraff in. Keyleth steps forward to kind of support your statement. We've many of our finest who have been out in the field, battling vanguard powers, gathering intel on their movements, seeking answers in the frozen ruins of Isilcross as of late. Yet our attempts to scramble through Ludinus's long-plotted chaos keeps us on the back foot. 
Even now we've lost our footholds in the hell catch and many lives along with them, waiting for you all to get your shit together. Oh. At which point <clears throat> Keyleth puts her hands out and she raises her hands. You can see now in the center of this chamber, there are numerous thin channeled basins, almost like in the, the lowered central area between all of these council seats. There is kind of an open, uh, almost like the center of a courtroom floor. And there are these thin, like half foot long, little uh, water canals that seem to like spiral through this pattern, almost like a like a uh, like a Celtic knot. And as she raises her hands up, the waters sh shift up and begin to spin into a sphere. The sphere, as it spins and widens out, begins to shimmer, and a vision begins to come through. It's the Hellcatch Valley, the Malleus Key itself, the red beam of the Bloody Bridge rocketing up past view and the cavernous expanse of the, uh, the Tishton excavation site around it. As dust begins to build up, you see the landscape around it. Masses, impossible masses of dust and stone and earthen materials from Exandria begin to punch up from the ground, one after another, like localized earthquakes are just jettisoning bits of stone from the very surface itself. You see as they rise up with these massive sounding cracks, thunder rolling with each impact, as everyone kind of watches quietly, each boom, 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 echoing throughout the chamber. You watch as the landscape around the Malleus Key is building into a fortress. Something, someone, or some things is magically carving a stronghold out of the surrounding landscape around the key. You see towers. <laughs> come to rest at odd, twisted angles, dust settling and falling to its sides. The vision ends and the water kind of flashes and hits the ground before it all begins to seep into the channels once more. Was that happening right now? That was the last thing that we saw before we were under assault. Can I just pop a divine sense to see if there's any celestial fiend or undead around us? Nice, 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 nice. Certainly, yeah. You kind of gather your thoughts around you. No undead. No <clears throat> fiend. But certainly a handful of celestial throughout this chamber. Really? You can't quite, you know the direction, and it just kind of points to crowd or groups of people on certain uh, chairs, but you're uncertain who is what. Okay. Not at this distance. Cool. The fate of those from the Red Moon, equally important. And she steps aside, and as she does, reveals the hooded figure you see there, kind of sitting. And it kind of peeks out from the hood towards Kila, and Kila goes, Go on. Go on, I got you. Averroa! Averroa! Hi! You got this. <clears throat> kind of steps out, you know, the heavy waddling gait. With the Bormoda stepping out for a bit and then pulling the hood back, revealing the unique and uh, non Exandrian musculature and physical form of the Bormoda. Uh, squat with its two large hulking arms and its tiny chest curled ones up front, uh, its you know, thick trunk like legs just kind of stepping out to the center uh, as it kind of takes a moment for her to glance around wide-eyed, the uh, kind of darkened orbs of her eyes look both filled with awe and terror simultaneously as she kind of almost begins to stumble into a, a moment of anxiety and, uh, oh, the word escapes me for a moment suddenly, um, vertigo. Before she, you watch as some movement from underneath the hood catches up, and small Saita Gona rushes up and begins like rubbing against her cheek. Aww, One of the small arms kind of reaches up and grabs and holds it there. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. <laughs> My name is Everoa. <laughs> 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 Yes. 
Uh, I am one of the people of Rudis that these fine individuals are talking about. It's a rugged, harsh life, perhaps, but it's the only one we've known for centuries. Inner conflict, limited resources. It's all kind of kept the majority of our scattered clans from truly walking in the dreaming call of Perdathos. Instead, sleeping within your dreams and longing for, for color and zest, freedom. We are very much varied, gentle lot historically, since honed to a deadly edge under the tyranny of the weave mind over generations. These five Rylorn overlords have worked in distant concert with lewdness towards this very moment in time where their tyranny could spread to your world. The Blue Dream, Exandria. She looks back towards Keyleth and looks towards the rest of you. The vast majority of our people only wish to be left alone. <laughs> Maybe one day walk the golden fields and swim the crystal waters of your world. When out from under the, the weave mind sub subjection, we, we can be kind, beautiful even, just as you are, all of you. We have far more in common than not. Your world is, as you say, is tangled in disorder. Your magic's twisted and nearing and unraveling. None of this is coincidence, as I myself was coerced to be tangential in executing this plot. More whispers begin to circulate the chamber, and you can hear the shifting of armor and handles being grasped. For that, I am filled with regret, and the mess you wallow in is by design, and it is meant to hold you back until it is too late to stop them. I can offer what insight I can to your cause to atone for my part in all this. All I ask, mouth is so dry. Um, all I ask is some empathy for my brethren, misguided or indoctrinated as some of them may be. I pass her my water skin. I'm just kind of sneak. Feet from the side. Yeah. That is all. She goes into a kneel. <laughs> <laughs> so immediately conversation starts going. People are talking. What's, 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 don't trust it here. I don't think In her head, she <laughs> hears, "You did great, sweetie." <laughs> <laughs> Keyleth, who is there with Allura and Kima. Um, uh, Allura, kind of like hands together, rubbing them, and Keyleth's like, "I." Hate this place. Uh, Psst. Wait, Laura is saying this? Huh? No. It's oh, a Keyleth. It's a Keyleth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a Keyleth. Idiots. <laughs> You're like, he got that Hi, guy. idiots. Hi. So good to see Hi. you all. Also, th th we do have, and as you walk, walk past the stairs, she points up to the sanctuary, and you see like the massive uh, uh, Rooftop of the sanctuary with this like beautiful looking silver dragon statue that's perched across the top of it, and you watch as its tail kind of like. That's no statue. Are you serious? There are, from what I know, at least <laughs> three dragons of Exandria that are part of this uh, communal discussion. Uh, two of which were in incognito within the chamber. What? Um, <laughs> It's me, I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Hi. I'm, I'm the, the dragon, dragon is me. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn right it did. Hand like slams on the side of, of Allura's shoulder, like goes, oh, oh. Don't throw wind out of me. You almost oh. killed her. <laughs> and that, that massive uh, half giant figure that kind of led you and goes like, Yeah. That thing up there, a big old one. Yeah. Or did that? Wow. You did that. All by yourself. One v one. More or less. <laughs> <laughs> I believe him. <laughs> <laughs> I know good. I know good work when I see it. Wow. Where do you think I got these? 
Those are impressive. Can can I just can you hold up your hand against mine? You are the tiniest little baby hand on those oh. closets. <laughs> just a little like lightning. Oh. oh. <laughs> 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 may, may I get Keeps a, you very cool. <laughs> Can I get a closer look at those? Do it. What? <laughs> Burn! <laughs> <laughs> Make a persuasion check. <laughs> so sorry, 32. Ooh, what? A 32. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goes, I mean, yeah. And just puts oh. them like right up to your face. And uh, you, this man is massive. Um, <laughs> leaning forward, just these two massive stone, and as it kind of like, the static kind of curls on them. You feel that like flame on the inside of your soul begin to like flicker a little bit, and there's some odd tether between <gasps> them. Made from the primordial. Yes. The the gauntlet knuckles begin to like glow red, like they're almost beginning. The stones beginning to heat up. And he goes, um, um, it's making me uncomfortable. Oh. Pulls away. <laughs> um, that's never um, that's never <laughs> happened before. It has it. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if I put them on. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Fern. What's your name? My name. Oh, oh it's some um, kind of legendary title. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Grand Poobah the Dying God is that one of the masters of Whitestone. Um, kind of a big deal. Legendary warrior from Vox Machina. Oh, yes. Gregory Stronger. <laughs> Gregory Stronger. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's gotten smarter and smarter. I think he's just worked for a couple of years. One IQ point per year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's so refined. He's got two more syllables to his name. Oh, my God. My fair barbarian. A, vo a, vo a voice kicks in. Gregory like, Stronger? Is that what you said? Sure. Okay. A voice side goes like, and Gregory shouldn't have been drinking before this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, <laughs> and you see uh, next to him the this, this small gnomish uh, figure that you met in Whitestone, Pike Trick Foot. He goes, guys! Hi! Hey, yeah. Hi. So, sorry, we were in the middle of a thing when you arrived, no, but yeah. it's so good to see you all. Um. Hi. You went to the moon? Yeah. I just showed him my, my Rylauren fetus. Ew. Wow. Yeah. Don't break it. That's real this gross. Really ah, ah. <laughs> she looks to you and goes, I'm sorry, I don't think we've met. Hi, I'm Peg Trickfoot. Oh, hello, Dorian Storm, a pleasure to meet you. Dorian Storm, pleasure to meet you too. Uh, how'd you get pulled into all this? Well, I most certainly did not go to the moon, oh. uh, but these are my friends from weeks ago. We recently reconnected. I'm learning about everything with them. He did go to AR with us, though. He's extremely <laughs> valuable. My wow. get you. Yeah. It's part of Bell's house. Well, uh, well, welcome. Nice to nice to have you. Um, me and Grog here are just kind of working as uh, temporary bodyguards for two of the dignitaries present. Which ones? Uh, you can see, like, she looks behind her, and now talking off to the side, you see Keyleth is in the process of having a conversation with uh, Vexalia. <gasps> Hey, we're in a bakery, uh, but um, yeah, things are kind of kind of crazy. It's not selling a lot of croissants these days, with all the, um, and you know, <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> that's a dumb Slayer's joke. Great. I feel like, I feel like that's everybody should be the go, would be the go. Everybody to needs food. croissants. Yeah, for I'm sure. Really, it's the I shape. Really Oh, that's. <laughs> it's like the people that want to buy Coronas after yeah. COVID. <laughs> oh my god. The moon, maybe dying the bread was a bad idea. Yeah. We don't want your moon bread, only freedom bread. <laughs> oh my god. But it's so good to see you all. I'm glad you're okay. We should also introduce Brais. Oh, hello. Uh, Sorry, I, I've, I've been just sort of nervously in the background. Hi, you're a big one. Oh, yes, I. Yes, I, it's uh, it's actually my first day on the job, <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's been a lot to to sort of take in, and I'm just trying to observe. You guys went to the moon? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yes, oh, we did. Yes. Oh, <laughs> we don't download. <laughs> the same moment, not that long. <laughs> I feel like we Sorry, is a lot more of a re recent acquisition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how do Brayus and Grog stack up? 
So, how like tall is Gray? Uh, probably slightly shorter than Grog's. What, six eight, six ten? Yeah, I'm, I'm like six, six, six okay. four. Sure. You can so, get six four, but then <laughs> you have the six, horns. Eight. Which, as you guys have this conversation, you do see Grog is like, maybe a like tall. trying to like stand up as tall as possible and like trying to get the nose and head past the horns. He's like, what's the same height? Like, yeah, yeah, you're both monochromatic too. Yeah. Oh, that's right. yeah. I do have a drinking horn at my back of holding that might go on Grog's head. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, actually, you know what he does? He reaches in his bag and he pulls out a helmet that he puts on. It has this big bladed horn in the front. Goes, mm. No bad. It's a pretty good helmet. It's a good horn. Mine's bigger. Yes, it is. Maybe we'll uh, arm wrestle for it later. Arm oh, wrestle. Oh. I'm sorry, did I offend you? <laughs> no! Looks at Pike, Pike's like, Putty's not tonight. And like, does this, and you look around, and there's just, once again, like the tense energy still letting out from the room, and people's scattering and saying, Give me 10 minutes. I'll give you, uh, I'll give you 12. <laughs> <laughs> and it just kind of gets lost in it for a minute. <laughs> 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 you have 22 minutes now? Is that, I think I found his weakness. <laughs> um, also, can you remind me, are you with anyone married, spoken for? I can't remember. You're are just you absolutely single? stunning. <laughs> oh, no, not. Uh, no. He's, he's, not he's not talking to you, to Pike. He's yeah. talking to the, the pretty tall, one. The, the, the tall one. Oh, oh, <laughs> holy, holy shit. shit. The really what? great boobs. Wow. Striking yes. image. Yes. <laughs> so me. Just. So are you talking to which? Vex. The Vex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pike is just right in front. Oh, oh, oh. Pike, you just, it, was a, it was a solid oh, neg with a 4.0 oh, 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 on the disc. Oh, 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 Nagging was good, but then you just lost it. I'm sorry, oh, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You put in a good word with your friend there? Yeah, no. That's... Oh, darling, even if I was single, you couldn't afford me. <gasps> wow. She's so cool. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hey, you might like to know this. And uh, I inappropriately, like, opened my blouse up and a little, a little titty falls what? Wait. That's Are Delilah. you all right? That's, it. that's Delilah. That's Delilah. Uh, well, oh, yes. um, she reaches back for. No, 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 Vexalia kind of steps forward, kind of with Keyleth off to one side and Pike on the other as they all kind of approach Laudna. And Vexalia kind of looking the looking towards the, 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 the <laughs> scar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't bother Vex. Um, <laughs> like, kind of reaches out. <laughs> really? Yes, it was, a, it was a whole thing. So she's. She's still alive, but she's just, you know, she's trapped in this little, little bead. Technically not alive. And Flip how, the script. How she's sure are you that this is perhaps permanent? Well, that same stone kept a grand demon trapped for a thousand years. A thousand plus years, yeah. <laughs> Give or take. She and Keyleth share a look. Her and Pike, she looks over towards Allura. Allura goes, grand demon, that. Good luck, Delilah. <laughs> Which point? <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, can you can you talk to her? Can you like force her to eat bad foods? Can you do it? What, what is there a way to make her? It's the most privileged hurt? thing I've ever heard. <laughs> um, uh, I can like sort of. I can. I, it's new. I'm still figuring it out. Mm. All I'm saying. Darling, is make her hurt. Mm. Oh, well, that's lovely. There's some history there. 
Can you knock on our fishbowl? Can you? Ding, ding, ding. What happens if I do that? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it comes flying out the back. Oh, I did it! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going downhill. <laughs> touching it, touching it doesn't do anything. Do you want to look, look inward? Like close your eyes and feel inward? Yeah, sure. Give me one minute. As you focus inward towards where the anchor resides inside you, you can feel again that. But whereas once it emanated around you like a cage, now it's just the faintest little tickle on the inside. And as you begin to push inward towards the darkness, the faint. You see something shift in the shadow. You hear the grinding of metal, and as you begin to see some of the shapes, you see a thin, frail, broken wisp of a woman in tattered robes, shackled to an unseen wall, her head hanging down, look up at you with burning purple eyes. Delilah. I have a question. She's just staring at you. What's your most hated food? I will find a way out of here. Okay. <laughs> and I will tear you apart, fiber by fiber. Okay. I will protract your suffering for eons. Use Unseasoned you. beans it is, all of us. <laughs> <laughs> as, you, as you pull out of the shadow, her voice gets louder. You will, I will, echoes into the darkness. It's eggs, it's sunny side <laughs> up. <laughs> she's really not happy. Queens, she's just gonna have gas for days. <laughs> I might sleep well tonight. Thank you for that one. Having actually been to the hells myself, I'm uncertain I'd throw in with any of that lot, to be honest. The gods are, the betrayer gods are acting on their own anyway, yeah. without us. Been to all the hells? I mean, there's a few hells. I've been to a couple. Couple? Yeah. Really? H have you? <laughs> yes. No, he's never been. I, I, I know, so why are you giving a shit? I just am curious. I don't think mm -hmm. we have to have a more frank conversation with the gods at this point. I oh. think they need to put some things on the fucking table. All what, like about. go talk to them ourselves? I have been face to, to, face, I have been to the hi. moon. That's not a bad idea. We have been to Aeor. We have seen some crazy shit at this point, and maybe this is just, I, I believe everything. I don't, I don't know if it's possible, but that seems like a pretty smart idea, actually. I don't think anyone can go talk to the gods. That doesn't seem feasible. Keyleth looks over her shoulder a bit, kind of to a, a southern direction of the distant stare and says, uh, It's been done with a variety of outcomes. People have spoken directly not to um, not to brag here, but oh uh, shit, you've done it. Of, I, I've, I've. Uh, when I used to be part of an adventuring group like you all, we uh, spoke to a few of the gods ourselves. <laughs> Someone very dear to me had a very strong connection to the Matron of Ravens. Wow, nice. She was cool. Yeah, she, she actually. Was cool. She <clears throat> is not cool. Fine. Okay. She was pragmatic. Sure. She's complicated. We ain't cool, Boy, that's true. Are you talking about that feathered one? <clears throat> they got turned into a little marble. Oh, well, just trapped for forever. Oh, no. What? Name. Sorry. Don't give. What? I was just curious. Yes. What? Sorry. Keyleth steps towards you. Oh, it's my oh, character. I can bully oh. her if I want to. That's valid. <laughs> that's, that's valid. Fight, fight, fight. The greatest loss I've ever suffered and the deepest wound I still bear to this day is because of her. She took from me the most important thing I have and will ever know. 
So yes, she is complicated and he is gone and he is in pain and he is in that tower, in that bridge mm -hmm. and we will destroy it and we will stop this. Yes, we will. Cheers to that. Maybe all the more reason to go talk to her. Maybe we can get him back. Maybe, maybe you can, you can. I have no interest deal. in talking to her. Chetney. Oh, I'm just curious. You went and talked to them before. Uh, why? And what did you get why? from that? Oh, wow. Like, was it just a combo, <clears throat> or did you need something? <sighs> so. Me and my friends a while back might have fought a new god that rose on this side of the Divine Gate. A terrifying necromancer, one deeply tied to that bitch you currently have bound in your chest. You were here for that? I was part of the group known as Vox Machina. Oh, shit. Yeah, but I didn't put it together. That was, man, that was the pay-per-view. That's the, that's the giant titan over there. That we that stopped, was... yeah. Also, you look wow. phenomenal for your age. Yeah. Just thanks. have to say. Yeah, thanks. This god, god that you, or wannabe god or whatever, that you, you didn't kill? S sent away somewhere? Where is it? We had to, we had to craft artifacts to seal it away. Divine trammels that were architected by these gods, and we had to gather the necessary materials and forge them by their specifications in a volcanic ancient anvil forge beneath the ocean. We then had to combat it at the top the peak of this titan, and it's managed to convoluted. seal it. It sounds like some sort of convoluted <laughs> dame. It was deeply convoluted and honestly overwrought and unnecessary. Just, 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 I am spitballing. This is a spitball. This is, yeah. this is a bad idea. You just gotta say the bad idea. What if we free that wannabe god and well, use him to kill Pradathos? Is that a thing? Could we do that? I seems very powerful. I feel like there's a temperature check that had to go along with that. If the, if this if this entity whose name I will not mention here, what does it like start with? <laughs> Let's. <laughs> you say it three times. Does it come to life? Or? Absolutely not. Okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> uh, if this entity ascended, it would be of the same divine make that the rest of the pantheon would be. Hence why it was so dangerous. If Pradathos is an entity that devours that divine essence, it would be as useless as the others. Oh, fair. You see this glow from seedling at your side. But as you're thinking this, you can you can feel this kind of like buzzing warmth from your sheath. Too bad. Poor thing. It's in there. There's nothing to be done about it. I know, I know. I uh, standing by Keila. Uh, actually, it's here, so it's glowing yeah. on my back. Pull it out because I can feel that. Is the blade? As you pull the blade out, you can see the vines and leaves that curl around the uh, hilt of the blade. Uh, all are kind of like reaching out, like small tethers reaching towards the massive birth heart tree. That's right, we are talking about you. In spite of the snowflakes that fall gently, this breeze is warm and it pushes in the direction of the tree. What if you just touch the tip on it? That's what I was going to say. Just give, to a little, the, give a little tap. To the tree? You want me to find a knot to put it in? Yeah. If you step a few steps towards the tree, yeah. you can see the vines kind of stretch a little further. Okay. I will touch the tip. Okay, so you begin to step, and it is a—it's uh, about you know fifty or so feet to the base of the tree. As you begin to step out, Keyleth kind of follows about fifteen feet behind. The rest of you follow along as well. Yeah, oh, yeah. I want to yeah. see this. Of course. Yes. 
you can see now all amongst the tree there are balconies, there are beautiful, like elf designed, latticed uh, windows that are built into elements of it. This, and it is a massive trunk, like you staring at it, you can barely make out the edges of it from each side of your periphery when you're this close to it. It is like the base of a mountain, but a tree. Um, with a number of doorways and gates and these lit up kind of natural lanterns that kind of turn inward towards it. And as you kind of hold the sort of loft towards it, there is just a center of a uh, knotted tree trunk that is kind of gnarled and pushing upward, and you see just a, a glow of green towards one of these heavy roots. You once reached out to me another time across the ocean. We could really use a frank chat with you. And I will turn the blade and not harm the tree, but I will sort of wedge it carefully between two roots there. Okay, you set the blade like between the roots. I take a knee. The rest of you watch as Orm kind of kneels and you hear this faint creaking sound as the root begins to shift. You watch as vines begin to extend and wrap around Orm. Uh oh. Like a rapidly gathering cocoon <clears throat> of leaves and vine. Orm, you good? It's okay. You look so comfortable. You watch as the ground flowers sprout. Grasses begin to suddenly rise up. Within but a couple of moments, Orem is gone from your sight. As the warm sensation of the surrounding branches and vines and flowers and grasses engulf you, you begin to hear the sounds of nature around you. The natural landscape, like an evening amongst the densest of bog forests, the sound of wind rustling through tree boughs. And then eventually you feel the vines pull back from you. And as it does, you are standing in a glade, a beautiful, like moonlit glade. The soft white light beams kind of piercing through uh, numerous points in this clustered canopy of massive, majestic, tri pointed leaves. You feel so small, but the leaves look so large in comparison, you feel big until you look down at yourself. And you are made of leaves. Your skin is green and veined with leaves protruding from your fingers, from your shoulders. No armor, no weapons. You are just as nude as the day is long, but like you had grown from a bud. Which you did. You look around you, the, the pullback of the nature around you are massive, like rose petals, like a massive flower had opened up that you had emerged from. And you take a step beyond the button as your foot touches the ground, you can feel the breath and whisper of the forest around you. Like you inhale, and everything around you inhales with you and welcomes you. As these branches begin to expand and lower, you watch as they pull open, and from them emerges a face, a beautiful, welcoming smile, earthen brown skin, its gentle, golden eyes, the leaves and canopy itself, the hair that continues to tumble and curl around as it comes down to you and meets your gaze. So massive to where you felt like you had grown yourself from a large flower, now you feel like you grew from a regular flower. You are so small, and she is so encompassing, but there's no fear. Thank you for admitting me. I know that I don't offer prayer, I've never been a follower. Though I've taken note of you, will you talk to me? 
the wind curls and drifts throughout the space. And the color in the eyes shift, and you don't hear words, but you feel emotions and imagery connecting through where your feet make contact with the surrounding space of nature. The languageless sense is that of gracious appreciation. Acknowledgement that your path is yours and an apology has no need here. The next sense you feel is, and he's here with us too. I don't know if you know this already, but my friends and I have looked back through a window in time and saw you and your kin, minus the grandeur, one that walks in the mortal realm means to show everyone that story. The golden light in her eyes seems to flicker to a silver for a moment as the warm smile turns a bit cold. The leaves rustle around her face and seem to close like a curtain as a number of leaves begin to fall from the branches. Where the leafless branches now lie, you see a paler face, a sallow face, a flash of the face that you saw in that vision. The golden beauty of this space now seems to lose a bit of its color, and you hear the howls of hungry wolves in the distance. The canopy continues to shift and it returns to the wild mother's more welcoming face, though the expression still remains darker, and the face withdraws back up into the trees. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, um, please, uh, we're running out of time. You are running out of time. The loud creaking sound comes to a halt as where the trees have shifted in the background, you can see new paths exiting the glade continue on. I start uh, with this form of plant and, and vine and flower, this facsimile form. I start to rustle and move through the, whatever path is in front of me. With each step you take, those tethers of vines extend from your foot and reach, almost like your foot is extending to root itself before it even meets the ground, much like your sword reached for the tree as you approached. And so you root yourself with each step before the next dislodges, never fully leaving the ground as you progress. There is a, a path to the right and a path to the left. Which do you choose? <laughs> 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 to the he right. chose down. To the right, to the right. Walking the right path, you step into a darker wood. This one feeling cold, though the wind is present. You step further into this space, and these blanched trees, their tall, thin trunks, kind of cracking and peeling, leaving a darkened, exposed, diseased trunk beneath. You step further in to a smaller glade beyond this, and you see a singular statue, not unlike the one where you last had your brief communion. Interesting. But the statue lies cracked and fallen. You hear a sorrowful owl hoot above and while there is life present, it feels diminished. It feels abandoned. I will reach out and touch the marred statue. Your hand touches the statue, it shudders. <laughs> and falls in, crumbling into a pile of broken stone. I, I don't want to happen. I worry about 
the balance of the world that you fostered and we live in now. We don't know what this thing is for Dothos. But I fear it is coming and if you mean for mortals to help maintain balance, it would be really helpful to know what it is we're coping with. I know I'm not in mortal existence, but I will use the same force of will I do when I cause blooms to grow, and I'll touch my planted hands down into the pile of rubble and try to will growth. As you place your hands between the stones, your <laughs> fingers extend and reach out to root into the ground itself, mm -hmm. like you yourself becoming a multi faceted tree, finding different points of contact. As you do, you feel your fingers running deeper and extending, splintering and pushing throughout. You are becoming deeply ingrained in this space, and you will growth and life here. And as you do, you sense that warmth begin to return to the space. Blossoms begin to spread throughout within. The warm breeze picks up, and you glance upward in the canopy above itself, her face there waits, smiling once more. The breeze as it encircles you, you pick up that emotion and imagery once more. You get the sense she is the custodian of this, but she acts through you. You are her instrument. You, as she smiles down upon you, the cheeks fall to a stoic intensity, and her golden eyes burn red. The light around you turns red. It grows more and more red. You blink, and you have visions, imagery of a shoreline the waves large and crashing against the stone and rock, an island built with towers and walls. You see shapes, massive, titan-like, walking, gathering at the edge, a strange star falling from the sky, crashing into the space. The red light grows bright, flashes once more. As you come back, you see, standing, towering over the landscape, Dozens, it seems, almost. Family. Faceless but strong. Guardians, gods, one head of light, one enwrapped within an endless tether of scroll and script. You see shadowed visions of the Pantheon gathered around this fallen star. and two of these figures vanish. The star grows brighter and redder. You feel the fear. You see the people of this city, this island where it fell, shouting, calling. You feel the fear. You feel the recollection of a fear only felt once before, and with a sadness, a deal is brokered. You see mountains shift and flames plume. You watch as the sea rises, the city, this island, swallowed in stone. You watch as runes and glyphs, the size of a coast, ensnare and jettison it into the cosmos. You hear the screams of those sealed within as they are sent off into the darkened ether. And in that flash, 
that moment that you watch the earth and rock heated and condensed. You know the hunger of nature. You know the hunger of the predator. You know the hunger of being abandoned, the hunger of survival. You feel but a flash of a hunger you cannot understand. It is outside of your emotional capabilities. It is an oblivion hunger. It is primal, and it is bringing you to the brink of madness to try and understand it in that flash. Make a wisdom saving throw for oh, me. Oh, shit. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, succeed. 13, which probably is a failure, right? I don't know. Well, if it is, I would want to use Indomitable. You can reroll a saving throw that you fail. It is a failure. It's worse. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, no. Yay. <laughs> this is such a good story, though. Dello, Dello, Dello. That peak into an outer cosmic hunger and that brief experience experienced celestial survival-based fear that you sense within the shoes and experience of the Wild Mother and those present overwhelms you. You hear a sound, this high-pitched sound that gets louder and louder and louder until you recognize it. It's you screaming, you're screaming, you don't know why, but you're now realizing that you're just screaming. As the red light begins to fade back from this vision, you sense the emotion, apologetic, warming. The leaves surround you and pick you up like a child. You feel yourself cradled in the bowels of the Wild Mother, the warmth pulling you back from the screaming edge. The scream subsides and you feel the tears wet on your cheek. You don't fully understand what you saw or what you felt, but it's there now. There's something either broken in you or rooted in you, but something in some small way has changed. But she is so sorry. Very small, like an infant or a child with a thousand yard stare, uh, I say, I say this with an open heart, but I know you all to be inherently flawed. Like me, and all the children that love this world as much as you. Please let the garden grow. The warmth you feel surrounding you. You can no longer see the smile, but you feel the cheek against yours, and you sense her expressing natural, unconditional love. And an ask. Protect us. For we protect you. And together we protect this. The leaves crash open once more, and now, like the bright of sunlight comes in, you wince as you're now held knees to your chest in a fetal position, cradled within these boughs, like a like a nest within a tree. And now before you, you see the endless mountains climbing and spilling across the most beautiful valleys of, of rivers and streams and waterfalls, jungles and swamps and forests and storms and clear blue skies, all of the beauty and terror and wonder of nature itself just stretches out for infinity beyond you. Together, we protect this. And you feel something on your shoulder. You look over 
and there sitting next to you, made of similar green vines as well. His eyes cold and like hers, smiling from its green and brown facsimile of his memory together. I hold up my hand to clasp. And together the hands erupt in little flowers that spiral down and around our arms. I've got this. The hands and the flowers themselves, now the the roots try and burrow from your hand into his, like they rooted into the forest. But he pulls his hand away and touches your cheek. He will. But I also need you to live. Be happy. Don't live your life in the shadow of mine. Eventually everything becomes one. I'll be here waiting. I'll see you soon. The branches begin to give way and you both begin to tumble through them like the most gentle fall into bush and branch as you tumble that grows darker and darker and darker and quicker and quicker and quicker until suddenly <laughs> you're just kind of drifting in darkness and nothing. The rest of you watch as the shell begins to crack and unwind, brown and curl back. I'm gonna run up to the base of the tree and just kind of get on my knees and just sit and watch. As the cocoon pulls away. You see Orem kneeling where he was, face likely damp. Did we hear screaming at all from the inside, or was it just silent? No, just quiet. And your eyes blink back to awareness that you are back at the base of the birth heart. Orem. of our foe, how old it is. I think older than our world. I saw them all for a moment. The gods? Yeah. And I think I saw Bradathos. And they were terrified. And then I was terrified. And then they ripped it from the world and jettisoned it. Did she give you a weapon? Uh, any knowledge? Oh, the knowledge thing, yeah, she gave you a vision. Check your pockets. Is his armor fancier? What's going on? Can you turn into a tree? <laughs> Pick <laughs> 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 him up, dust him yeah. off. No, armor's no, the same. The blade, the blade's still wedged in there. Like the armor's <laughs> I will remove that gingerly. Okay. As you pull the blade free, the blade itself is longer than it was when you placed oh, it. Oh shit! Oh, no. 
And as you glance at the hilt and the handle, you can see the vine growth is denser, and there are two golden gems, like two golden eyes, now looking from the front of the blade, like she's guiding its strike. Oh! Consume. Oh. 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 So, interesting point of order here. Vestiges of the Divergence are relics of a time gone past. Newly crafted <gasps> items will forever be referred to now as, at least for this event, relics of the Red Solstice. Oh! We need all of or, them. Or, I was going to say, I got a, I got a god I want to bitch at, but you know. Relics Tomorrow. of the red solstice. 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 I mean, it's not like a major thing. No, it but, is. It is. But is I'm just making you know sure. It's going to be in five years. I'm exactly. just saying it's not. It's not called a v uh, vestige of divergence because historically it has just now been imbued with its power. Got it. Hey, I, man, cool man. Man. I run over and I shove my witch hazel into the tree. Plus me! <laughs> Make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> 12. Hot. Whoa. Hot. You take 29 points of bludgeoning damage <gasps> as a massive tree from the birth heart falls from its canopy and slams onto you, pinning you to the ground. <laughs> Uh, we're staring at the store, so we're not paying uh, attention to this at all. That's so cool. I, I, I grab a huge branch, I try and shove it in the back of all that. <laughs> Three acolytes emerge and go, what was that? Oh, oh, we're so sorry. And they help get you off of it, and they bring the branch inside. Oh, no. We're so sorry. Where did you go? Do you remember? Do you remember? <laughs> We need to stop hanging out. Married <laughs> 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 couples. Wait. Yeah. We'll stop Horrible. in ten years. Yeah. Truth or dare, but just truth and truth. It's truth, truth and truth. truth. We could add truth a dare, dare element sure. to it if you'd we like. Could do truth, <laughs> truth, truth, or or dare, <laughs> truth or dare, but then you have to also like a spin the bottle situation. You just what? really want to play Where'd spin the, the bottle. bottle yeah, because I think it's hilarious. We're in a tree. We play a D&D spin the bottle on our... Maybe last night, Alexandria, guys. I'm just saying. I'm just so, putting it out there. So you, you think we're gonna die tomorrow? We'll be, we'll be, maybe we'll not ask tomorrow, a question. Maybe like in the next couple days. And if you don't tell the truth, you have to kiss maybe someone. Don't bore me. Is that right? Maybe. Sure. Or if you, you can either answer or kiss someone. Why don't we forget the zone of truth and just make out? <laughs> <laughs> no. If you're gonna do it, do it. Otherwise, I'm gonna. Zone of truth. <laughs> Feel an energy in that space. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just bleat like a goat? <laughs> yeah. Have her. you been happy serving the Lord of the Hells? Ooh. It has been the honor of my life. I know that some of you might have gotten the impression that I maybe haven't visited the Hells and maybe haven't met the king of the devils. Have you met the king of the devils? I know that you have the impression that I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe not technically. I haven't technically met the king of lies. I know. But he, gods speak to us in many different ways. Some wrap us in bark. Some sp speak to us in sim symbols or blood or ichor. I feel like he has reached out to me, and I feel like we have a connection. Maybe not a literal one. Mm. <clears throat> nice. Good answer. Are you gonna fuck us over? Are you gonna turn on us at any point? Are you gonna fuck us over? Hmm. Maybe I should spin the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spin it that hard in the It's gonna land Oh my god, it's still going! Please, oh oh we can't do this more than no, 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 no.
Yeah. Mainly because I want to know what it's like. <laughs> All right. Does it have weird breath? Does it smell like grass? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you? Are you? Your human face, though. You don't have like cow yes, face. Yes, but I'm getting a little bit excited. Oh, no. <laughs> so my bovine features are starting, oh, starting to, to come out. Flare out a little bit. Oh. oh. Time to ride the mechanical oh, bull. Oh, Let's come on. This is a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> All of this was a mistake. No, this is amazing. Nine. <laughs> All right. Roll Leading to this. Roll for kiss. Performance check? Yeah, okay. Yes! <laughs> sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 21 over here. Wow. Wow. Oh, I'm giving it my roll. Doing all the tricks. A 13. I'm not as into it. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Checks out. You. <laughs> Checks out. My mouth is all on oh. you. Just I'll bring my hand up. <laughs> okay. Oh. You ever see when like a cow goes up to something and just like licks it? That was great. Oh. That was really good. I appreciate your. <laughs> so glad we played this game. Whew. That was good. Voices. I don't like this rule. I want to know if you're going to turn on us. I, I feel like that's that an appropriate. That's a yes. I... It's a possibility. Was it it's like a possibility. His Great. Tongue? Yeah. It was. Cool. I don't like that answer. Yeah. His nose felt bigger <laughs> up close. Ashton, <laughs> do you agree with lewdness? No. Hmm. That was a broad question. People are complicated. There are things that he said that I think are definitely true. And. I understand because I've had a life that sometimes the truth is its own kind of lie. So yeah, there are things I agree with. Definitely. And there are things that I definitely do not. But you said no first. I did. <laughs> it's because he has to be fucking stopped. New kid. Oh. Hmm? You have a grudge against your previous god. Do I have a grudge against previous god? Yes, I do. Yes, I was forsaken and abandoned by my temple and by all my fellow followers. If it came down to hurting your previous god or saving us? Saving you or hurting the Platinum Dragon? Yeah. I'm not saying that they're exclusive, I'm just saying that if it came down to helping a f fellow mortal or just not killing, but just... It's a good question. I will say this, my mission is not to hurt the Platinum Dragon. My mission is to destroy lewdness and to save my master. And you all have been nothing but nice to me in the last day. <laughs> <laughs> and I know I said it would be difficult, but I don't believe I will turn on you. You've given me no reason to. And I would not Stab you in the back to kill the platinum dragon. It would be very hard to stab you in the back. It's mostly rock back there. Also, I don't have any daggers or knives. I've got some spares. <laughs> oh, lend me. Why am I? <clears throat> <clears throat> you seem like good people. We're people. What is it, Chet? You just look so anxious over there. Burn. <laughs> what? Shit. If the lewdness gave you the ability to save the people closest to you or of your choosing, would you conspire with him? What, like, like if, like if, okay, so if he was gonna say, hey, you can save all of your friends, everybody here, would you conspire with me? I mean, I'm gonna spin. Right, a light Ooh. spin. A light yeah. spin. Uh, <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> I'm scared. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Come on home. Oh, oh. Oh, Come oh, home. Oh, 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 Come oh. home to daddy. <laughs> that would be Chet. Yeah. <laughs> I just go over and I straddle him and just have a big old kiss. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I'm also going to try to take the branches from the birth heart that you were working on. Make a uh, sleight of hand check All and right. you make a perception check. Right. While she's doing that, I'm going to mage hand this. 
Oh, you made Chandler. I made Chandler the bottle so it would face me. No. <laughs> well, she's well. already kissing him right now. I know, but maybe afterwards. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. Just All right. Careful so. which sticks you're reaching around for. I'm just saying, we're smooching. 13. 13? Would you roll? 19. 19. Okay. So uh, as this is happening, you definitely reach into the bag of holding and withdraw the birth heart twigs that you had. All three of them? Damn. Cold. You don't yeah. have those in your pocket. It's the best kiss ever. Oh, yeah. Fern, you kicked the bottle a little bit. Let me just nice. hang on. It, 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 was, it, it was still rolling, was a, it was still spinning a little bit. Just like I remember, Fernie. It, it was still spinning, you still got it. <laughs> this is fun, but there's something that's been weighing on me since I've been back. Okay. I don't even know how to say it, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Are you all right? No, this is supposed to be fun, but, um. <clears throat> I heard you say to Horm and to Imogen uh, that if something happened to you where you put us at risk, that you would be willing to sacrifice yourself for all of us. Sorry. If the shoe were on the other foot, and Imogen were to become a vessel for Pradathos, would you be able to do the same? If she asked me to, just in the same way that I asked them. Well, then I'll say it now. If I put you all at harm, do what it takes to defeat me. It will be the absolute last resort. Sorry, I hate being a downer. This is what we're here for. Do you want to spin the bottle, Dorian? Kind of, but I will. I, I, <laughs> Go for it. No. no. I'm all warmed up okay. now. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I spend it so slow. There's really only so much <laughs> you can do. <laughs> oh, yourself. No! <laughs> Anything but that! <laughs> Chad's <laughs> 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 lucky. No! no. Chad! Yeah. Please! Hey, right, baby. I'm not moving. I'm just saying, you gotta earn these lips. Oh, if you didn't smell like cedar and chestnut. I'm gonna kiss him. Oh, it's my nightmare. Performance check on both of you. Uh, 26. Oh. 19. Oh. Oh my god. you're fucking serious. <laughs> I'm gonna pull away and I'm gonna say, Fucking knew it. <laughs> <laughs> see, see. Throw him back on the bed. He is oh. royalty. You know. <laughs> wow. In his three days, been five great kisses. <laughs> 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 Story. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. Not to bring <clears throat> the mood down. <laughs> and you can always spin the bottle again. Sure. <laughs> you haven't said much at all since your return. And in fact, you were almost quite glib, flippant about it on your return in regards <clears throat> to the death of your brother. That's not for fun and games. Well, we never said that this game was going to be fun. It was my question too. And mine. Are you running from it? Do you feel responsible? Are you trying not to process it? And do you feel like if there is a chance at reversing it, you would take it, even if it came at a cost. Speaking of making deals with gods. I won't be making any deals with gods. And that was four questions. Well, <laughs> I'm lumping it into one. Out right, here. One from Ashton, one from me. <laughs> I think a little laughing and bullying is just fine sometimes. 
<clears throat> um, I don't know my place in all this sometimes, and sometimes the way I feel feels unimportant. But that's okay. I've, I've felt like that most of my life. But when I'm with you, I feel it important. And I can't even believe you've been thinking about that at all, with all that's going on. Um, I've gotten really good at putting my feelings where they should go for the greater good. And for now, allow me to continue. But it doesn't mean I don't feel them. It doesn't mean I don't think about them. I'm not shallow or callous or unthinking. When we first met, I was a liar. <laughs> and a bad one. But I lied to hide what I feel, and now I don't have to lie. I can just put it away. I know it will come for me one day, and I'm okay with that. There will only be one brother that I've ever had. And none of you can replace him. Nor would I try. He might have been a fool, but he was kind and honorable and honest. And if he were still here right now, he would be with us all. And we could use him. But for my part, allow me to honor his memory by doing what is right, because I know that's what he would do. And the only thing that scares me about being here anymore is that I don't know what's right or wrong anymore. And there's no one here to guide us. We are leaderless, drifting, going on instinct and love, and sometimes that is not enough. I once told you to stay steadfast. But perhaps that was more for me. Everybody finds their strength in different ways. <clears throat> and a smile is mine. So, thank you for asking. What was his name again? My brother? Yes. <laughs> Strength in a name. Cyrus. His name is Cyrus. To Cyrus. Mm. <laughs> to Cyrus. Yeah. And to all who walk with us and who are not walking with us. <clears throat> Someone ask a funny one. You want some of this burnt heart, dog? <laughs> <laughs> I put some shavings in there. I'm fucking seeing some shit. You're an impressive person, Doran. <laughs> I want to see you cough yeah, now. Yeah, smoke that fake joint. Smoke that fake joint. <laughs> <laughs> That's birch. <laughs> <laughs> Work that improv Different. class. Yeah. <gasps> well, I'm not gonna skip this opportunity. <laughs> I don't understand the rules anymore. <laughs> there are no rules. There's we no live in chaos. Oh my god! If it ends on Chet again, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Aura. Aura. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hold on. Personally, I'd like to see it. Well, everyone's getting what they deserve, aren't they? 
I mean, pick up that little droid, give him a kiss. What are we rolling? <laughs> Performance. 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 <laughs> yeah, this is perfect. I have a three. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> Just this is like the two teenagers with headgear, <laughs> oh, like yeah. oh, trying to find a way in. Oh, oh. Well, that answers oh, that God. question. Sorry about that. It just, it just turns into a hug. Yeah. 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 Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, like an yeah. awkward peck. I imagine we, like, I try to go left, but you do too, and then we like crack our heads, and then it yeah. happens yeah, again. Yeah, we accidentally kiss each other on the lips when neither intended to. Correct. And yeah, and we're and making it count. Mm. Yeah. The juvenility of this is yeah. making me so happy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this well, has been fun, y'all. <laughs> should probably get some sleep. One last thing, actually, if we're okay. all going to sleep, I'm going to grab my bottle. I'm going to finish my fucking drink, and I'm going to follow uh, you, <gasps> Fern. Fern. Me. Towards where you're going, and I'm going to just have the bottle. Oh. And I'm just going to point it at you. Ooh. Once we're. Oh. <clears throat> sure. I still got a little. I'm not quite tired yet. <laughs> I got a little juice. <laughs> yeah. I got a little, are little are juice we still in this big no, we, room? I'm or are you, are you gone? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're, they're still the in the room, though. Yeah. Is it 12 beds in one room? Yeah. It's 12 beds in one room. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just glaring at you yeah. from across the way. <laughs> <laughs> I feel nothing. I'm going to just <clears throat> telekinetically pick up one of the blankets on the bed and hold it up in front of them. Okay. Just give them some privacy. Okay. Yeah. Private room. yeah. Hi. Hi. How's it going? I don't know. There's only one real way to find out. And I walk over, grab the back of your head, and it is, and just go for it. Whoa. Walk it down. This Whoa. is like 30 feet away from us. <laughs> yeah, but I have a blanket. There's a blanket that hides it. That's it. it, for sure. We, now we just see silhouettes. <laughs> and a loud show. conversation. <laughs> I just sort of am. Shocked and surprised, and and I'll kiss you back. I'm pickpocketing you right now. <gasps> <laughs> Slide a hand. Oh. Perception check. Perception check. Okay. Twenty one. Shit. Fifteen. <laughs> what do you have? What do you have? What are you going for? You got three sticks. It is a little spoon, mm -hmm. and it's a little little tiny spoon mm -hmm. like this. And um, it has a um, uh, little engraving in the um, ladle part. Um, and it's uh, the engraving is um, TJ. Mm -hmm. I, I got you something. It, it says something on it. I'm not quite oh sure. Oh my god, I've always been, I've been looking all <laughs> over felt, for something like this. It felt like very this. you. This is so me. Where did you even? And I now have I'm just one going just back to like kissing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> going in for another okay. kiss. All right, I'll go in for another kiss yeah. too. Okay. And I'm happy to keep this up for as long as I assume. It's two yeah. hours to the show. Yep. There yeah. we are. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll. T yeah. I'm gonna add a detail too for when everyone goes oh to sleep. God, mm -hmm. Just, just that Orem, um, yeah. as he lay in his bed in the small room. Uh, Spent some time looking at this sword that has changed. Um, and in the last like 10 or 15 minutes before falling asleep, he goes back to just um, watching Dorian sleep, which is something that he's done for a very, for a long time. Yeah. Okay. As long yeah. as he's known. The problem is, Dorian's not asleep. He doesn't sleep. His back is to you. Just, but he just stares at the. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. As he's crying. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh my god. This is how I can part that alive. This is my emotions. This is, I serve them in a bento box. There's little corners for everything. That was my self loading. On some Buddy. rice. <laughs> Vexalia stands up a bit. 
Well then, let's hope they go for it. I hope you've all brought your talking caps with you and shine your smile a bit bright, because now we just have to convince the rest of Exandria this is the best course of action. Well, Should we bring our on. talking caps? It's a figure of speech. Figure of speech. Oh, I don't have a talking. Bit. Sorry, it's a. I'm a parent. <laughs> <laughs> so real. <laughs> Did everyone go pee pee before potty. we had it? <laughs> Their eyes fall over towards you. I think I got one of those. I'm going to burn a rage. Start trying to fire it up and. Sparkles, little, little space. Cosmos just starts flaring in my head and through my eye. You watch the Bright Queen's eyes go wide, as well as her two compatriots. Her look of surprise turns to confusion, to curiosity, to concern. There we are, I was waiting for it. I knew you'd get there, yeah. <laughs> and then it's gone. It's six seconds. <clears throat> it's hard to describe, but I feel like I trust them. And we will have to talk when this is done. I'm so excited. You shouldn't be. <laughs> Looks over towards Allura. Are you ready to break a castle? Allura goes like, certainly if you put it that way, that's <laughs> evocative. Um, I prefer to survive and uh, do it from a distance. Um, <laughs> but, and Kimming slaps her on the shoulder and goes like, oh, come on, Allie. Let's break a castle. <laughs> Let's break a castle. You being the last one that exited amongst everyone else. <laughs> Feel the strike of sudden pain in your head. <laughs> and your consciousness goes into a red, dusty expanse. <laughs> But just as fast as the storm is there, it blows away. And there you stand in the middle of the beautiful green, tall grass fields of the highlands where you grew up. The dream you've had time and time again, but reversed. You see the trees shifting with the breeze. You see your horse running freely. In this vision, you hear, Imogen? Mama? You turn and look, and she's standing in the field behind you, the wind blowing her coat and hair. And that's where we're going to finish the episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't get to spin it. That would be a wild twist, though, if this whole thing is like a Lexan twist. Mm. Thanks for letting us play Spin the Bottle. Yeah. yeah it was super <laughs> spin, the, spin the Bottle on Graph Paper. <laughs> spin the Bottle on Graph Paper. Uh, I was like, okay, Always we're about to. to oh, they right. wanted. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Tension for the six strange reactions out of everyone. Exactly. Wait, Matt, name an NPC. An NPC Any in general? NPC. A new one or an old one? Uh, Whatever. Oh, sweet! <laughs> <laughs> nice! Wait. Oh, the bottle! Wait, did we <laughs> yeah. Wait was it oh, a yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck yourself! <laughs> 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 oh my I God. never thought it was going to go this way, Jess. <laughs> oh my oh, goodness! That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's weird. Gross. <laughs> that's pretty gross. Yeah. Especially if that weird. You'd be like, that hit the, no. Yeah. Yeah, no. 